Vesicular transport is the last um, way we're going to get particles through solutes, things through the cell membrane. Um, and vesicular transport, I'm going to write down some important words here. Vesicular transport consists of endocytosis and exocytosis, okay? And the purpose is to move big things in and out of the cell. Vesicular. What does that make you think of? Vesicles. What do you see? I'm showing you a picture here of um, thyroid hormone production, synthesis. And endocytosis and exocytosis are happening in this cell. This right here is the cell. You can also see that we have all sorts of carrier proteins. This thing right here is a carrier. This one right here is a channel. So we've got all sorts of transport happening here, but we also have um, the vesicular transport where we're moving things in and out in vesicles. I would think that there would be some movie out there in the world that would show an animation of endocytosis and exocytosis. It's a really, I think it's a really cool concept Exocytosis moves things out of the cell, moving out. Endocytosis moves things in. Endo, in, exo, out, exit. Exocy Sometimes when we have pairs of words like that, I can't remember one of them, but I can remember the other one. So I always have to go, okay, wait a second. Exocytosis is exiting the cell. Therefore, endocytosis is bringing into the cell. And then I can remember and I'm fine and I carry on. Take a look. I don't know if you can see this that well. Here's one of them and here's the other one. Which one is endocytosis and which one is exocytosis? Remember, this is the cell right here. This is the extracellular fluid right there. So the top one is exocytosis and the bottom one is endocytosis. And that's it. You basically take cell membrane. You either have a vesicle that you start with on the inside and the vesicle fuses. Remember vesicles are bubbles of cell membrane so you take your bubble of cell membrane, you seal it, connect it to the actual cell membrane, and then just do a little split, and the vesicle cell membrane becomes part of the actual cell membrane, and whatever was in the vesicle is now outside the cell. The opposite way of doing that is to have a thing come into the cell membrane and the cell membrane just nicely engulfs around the thing, seals off, forms a bubble that comes into the cell. That's endocytosis. Probably worth your time to draw a picture of it so that you have, and, and to like actively, like the, the actual order of events, because they're just backwards. If the vesicle goes out, that's exocytosis. If the vesicle comes back in, that's endocytosis. You, If we could make a movie, we could just reverse and fast forward, whatever, and we could end up, it's the same thing, but it's just one going one way and the other going the other way. Okay, big things are moved that way. All right. We all may be thinking, this was an easy lecture. There's only one more topic left. The last topic is osmosis, and I'll tell you right now, osmosis is, it's a good one. It's a doozy. So get up, take some breaths, come back ready to focus.